Greetings everyone and welcome back to Window Wednesday. We are about to wrap up our time here in the sanctuary of our artistic tour of the stained glass in the sanctuary. And one of the places that we're going to start that wrap up is uh, visible right behind me. There are two remaining sets of five windows in the sanctuary for us to take a look at. And the one behind me here is the first of those. These are what we generally refer to as our ministry windows. And in our Lutheran tradition, we, we focus on word and sacrament. And so you see those reflected here in the windows. Now, on either side, on the left and on the right, you see the symbols for the Alpha and Omega. And that should remind you a bit of Revelation, where we talk about God as being the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega. Alpha is the first letter of the Greek alphabet. Omega is the last letter of the Greek alphabet. And so that's how that came to symbolize that. And then you see in the center panels here, the uh, word and sacrament symbols. So the word in central place, the sacrament of baptism on the left and the sacrament of Holy Communion on the right. Now, if you remember from confirmation days, in our Lutheran tradition, we uh, regard something as a sacrament when it combines an earthly element with a word of scripture and a command by Christ. And so for, for baptism, Jesus tells us, go therefore and baptize all nations, teaching them all I have commanded you, and tells us in the institution of the Lord's Supper in scripture to do this to remember him. And so there we have the representations of kind of the central things of our ministry in the Lutheran tradition. So here in the entryway, we have the second set of five stained glass windows. This represents Jesus and the four gospel writers, and they are from left to right, St. Matthew, St. Mark, uh, Jesus in the center, St. Luke, and then St. John. And you'll recognize that the design of the windows follows the same kind of pattern that we had in the main part of the sanctuary with the outer red border or outer blue border with alternating um, frames. So uh, once again, as you see the, the picture of Jesus in the middle, um, you'll see a couple of extra things in his. You have the nativity star at the top. Jesus is holding one hand up with a finger raised, which I always kind of look at and I think of it as as... Jesus reminding us that he is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one comes to the Father but by him. You see that Alpha and Omega again uh, in the lower part of the window, and then the Christus Rex designation um, that we've talked about earlier. With each of the Gospel writers, um, we talked in our last episode about the symbols that represent them. Here they simply are represented with a pen and some form of written word reminding us that they have done their best to share with us what they learned and at Jesus' feet and uh, what they wanted to pass on to us. The faces of the disciples in these windows have been meticulously recreated from photographs of the Last Supper with Jesus. Okay, hopefully you laughed because that was obviously one of my lame jokes. But in any case, um, having these right out here in the entryway as we come in reminds us that here is where we can come to hear the word of God on a regular basis. And it's not obviously the only place that we hear the word or experience the word, uh, but it is a particular and specific place uh, where we come together as a community to participate and celebrate the word of God as it has come to us. So that kind of concludes our artistic tour through the sanctuary, but it's not the end of the stained glass in the building. Uh, we will continue next week with an exploration of stained glass in what was the original entrance of the sanctuary. In the meantime, uh, whatever comes your way this week, God go with you, and we'll see you in our next episode.